From the Global Newsroom in Toronto, here are Leslie Roberts and Robin Gill. Now, this North York neighborhood has suffered a lot of violence and a lot of loss over the past several years. So, do raids like today's do anything to ease the fears of residents and, more importantly, prevent young people from making bad choices? Christina Stevens has a look now at the community reaction. A police raid, a scene that's become as familiar to Jane and Finch residents as stabbings, shootings, and gang violence. In the four short years 18-year-old Obed Okiri has lived here, as many as 10 of his friends have been murdered and another 30 or so imprisoned. It's sad feeling that I just hope nobody ever feel that way. Because, uh, and he doesn't believe raids like this will make any real difference to the community. We need more stuff than just police breaking into houses and taking the guns and arresting people. We need programs that will make the little ones not grow up to be like that. We need programs that will make the ones that are already in trouble and want to get out have a second chance in life. He says it's all about hope, and having hope is what's kept him from ending up like some of his friends. And there's a sense here that the raids miss the big picture. They got a lot of drugs and they got a lot of guns. But what about the people that are supplying, making these guns and supplying these guns to our country and, and the drugs as well? He says new guns and drugs will fill the gap. But some of those who've been calling for action in the community say at least people could feel safer in the short term. Lawyer Courtney Betty points out the sweeping raids could help push criminals out of the Main Street community. If you know that someone is potentially or involved in a criminal activity, then you really have to think twice about having that person in your home. Because if there is an ongoing investigation, there is a possibility that a search warrant may be executed at your premises. And everyone we talked to made the same point, that by and large, this community is made up of people who work hard, are law-abiding, and want nothing more than peace. We might not be able to save or help the many brothers that are already in trouble, but the little brothers, that's why we all, everyone in the community should come together. And on his way to university in the fall, he says he's proved success can happen, even here. For Global News, this is Christina Stevens reporting.